just a very brief impromptu speech while we're cutting the cake? Not too brief. Just a little something, a little, a little something while we're cutting the cake. To share with us about something about your life or being 103 or how you feel about sunshine in Seattle. Anything. Fellow Toastmasters, I have many stories I could share. But let me choose just one small segment of my life, which is surely, it certainly will be entertaining to you. That is my inauguration into the business world as a newsboy. <laughs> yes, a newsboy. At the age of 13, I walked from our residence out in Rainier Heights to King Street Station. You know where that is. Second Avenue in Jackson Street. To begin selling newspapers on the street corner to make a few pennies to contribute to my family's poor total income. In those days, fellow Toastmasters, you had to be a member of the Newsboys Union to sell newspapers on the street corners. Why? Because the, the Seattle Times, the Seattle Star, the Seattle PI would not deliver newspapers and sell them wholesale to any kid or anyone who wants to sell them retail unless they are members of the Newsboys Union. My boss, who recruited me, was the president that year of the union. Of course, all of his kids, and there were three or four of us, each became members of the Newsboys Union at age 13. How about that? So began my career in the business world. I won't take the time or the energy or anything to expand on that, except to tell you that was the start. It was good training. My boss was a guy from Oklahoma, whom they called, fittingly, Oki. <laughs> his true name was Virgil Steinmetz, and he was perhaps in his mid-twenties, <clears throat> therefore about 10 years or so older than I was. So, Virgil was a very careful trainer of each of his kids. He taught us to be very courteous and polite with every customer to whom we sold a newspaper. We say, thank you, ma'am, or thank you, sir. We fold the newspaper up and tuck it under the customer's arm. We were at King Street Station. We had a lot of travelers passing through the window. Suitcases, uh, little bags, handbags. He taught us to pick up that handbag and put it in the hand of the traveler as they depart. See that wonderful training, wonderful training, which certainly stood me in good stead in later years. In the true business world, oh yes. So there was no competition because each newspaper corner was a franchise. And no one else could come in. Big bullies or anything like that could come and crowd you off in your franchise because you were protected by the Seattle Rules Wise you. <laughs> Seattle, Seattle then was a heavily unionized community, as you probably remember and read. So I had a first-hand taste of life in a union community 
And I must say, it was a positive. Well, I could regale you for hours with additional stories, and even expand on that one. But this is Toastmasters, and I must pay attention to the timer. Yes? <laughs> <laughs>